What is up my fellow mobile gamers? In today's video, we got our tier list for elite heroes in Eternal Evolution. Subscribe to the channel, thumbs up this video for more amazing mobile gaming content. This is gonna be a long one, folks. We got a bunch of heroes to go over, so make sure you go ahead and grab yourself a snack, a meal, whatever, and strap in, because uh, this is gonna be a long one. First up we got is Omar. This is a energy ranged damage dealer. Has some really good AOE damage uh, early game. Uh, however, comparing him to some of the other energy classes, uh, because this game has a ridiculous amount of energy classes, Omar just kind of lacks and isn't uh, one of the stronger AoE damage dealers. Uh, early game, you can get away with using him, but uh, really starts to fall off once you get a lot of those better AoE damage dealers. Our tier list is S, A, B, and C. S being the best, C being pretty bad. Uh, a being kind of, I would say, slightly above average, and then B would be below average. Uh, so for Omar, uh, we're gonna have to put him in like the B. I think he's below average, not the worst. Moving along, our next hero we have is Bot Mark II. Uh, this guy's pretty cool. He is a hunter, which we don't really have too, too many hunters in this game. Uh, not at least not as many energies as we do he has a lot of really good burst damage his ultimate ability shoots out seven rounds so it just pummels the opponents with damage really good for a boss dungeon also has the ability to decrease the enemy's defense by a percentage so overall this is one of the stronger damage dealers in this game we are gonna put bot mark the second we are gonna put him in the a area definitely above average next up we have orn i think is how you say his name o-r-n so a uh, really cool thing i believe this was from um one of the story missions you know that that thing i forget what it's called uh but it's like the second stage uh, and you have like bot mark and orn and apparently they're like brothers or something like that i mean i could see it they're both like mechanical damage dealers uh, orn is the energy damage dealer but uh he's really bad uh, if you take a look at his abilities like his ultimate is awful launches missiles in a selected area does a little bit of damage uh, he he doesn't like his abilities his skills they're just they don't do anything uh, groundbreaking like compared to all the other heroes we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put him in the C. uh definitely i would say don't build him out next up we have the controversial <laughs> randall <laughs> I say that because uh, you guys are gonna absolutely hate me when you see where I put him on the list. I don't like this guy. I hate him with a passion. Uh, I don't like the Phantom Strike ultimate ability. It's just, I feel like it's so inconsistent. A lot of the times, he, like the shadow's over here, but then the enemies get moved. So the shadow isn't even near the enemy. And it just, I, I just don't like it. I do not like this guy. I know a lot of people do. I know a lot of people are like, oh, he does a lot of damage and you know, all this stuff. He is a uh, assassin class, which we really don't have a lot of assassins. So, I mean, if you need an assassin, then I mean, I honestly see why you would use him, but I don't like this guy. I think he isn't as good as people say he is. Uh, you know, people are going to hate me for that. I understand people are going to be in the comment section. Arr, that's fine. I don't care. But uh, I am going to put him in the B area. I think he's below average. I know a lot of people will say that he's an A. A lot of people will say put him in the A. I don't like him. I'm putting him in the B, all right? <laughs> that's the end of the story. I, I just, I think he's just, I, I think he sucks. I'm just, I'm just I can't. I hate his ultimate ability. I, I just, I think it's useless. Uh, moving along, our next hero we have is Kane. This is one of my favorite ones. This is a fairly new elite hero that we got. Another energy damage dealer. What a surprise. Uh, amazing AOE damage. I mean, you, you, you can't go wrong with this guy. If you need a nuker, uh, he's, he's one of your best bet. His passive ability, every time he hits an enemy, he gains a stack of no mercy, which just increases his attack. So, I mean, that's it. He is just a huge, massive damage dealer. So if you need to just wipe out waves very quickly, he's amazing for that. Uh, I think he's an S tier. 
Uh, maybe some people will say he's an A, but I think he is one of the better damage dealers in this game, 100%. Next up, we got Serena, one of our very rare support classes in this game. I mean, the, this game only has like two or three support classes. Hands down, Serena is by far the best support in this game. At right now, uh, I pray to God that we get some more damn support heroes, please. I'm tired of getting the energy heroes. Can we please get some new... Uh, you know support classes for the love of God then maybe Serena won't be the best anymore uh, she just has amazing healing she heals herself she heals her teammates she buffs the targets defense uh, she's got a lot of stuff going on with her uh, we're gonna have to of course put her in the S because she's hands down a must she helps your team survive so much in this game uh, if you have not noticed healers are so important in this game unfortunately we we don't have a lot you you have hardly any options for healing you either choose serena or you choose the little panda guy which is uh, he's okay he's not bad uh, either one uh, you know those are your best two options for consistent healing so uh, that's kind of how it is moving along our next creature we got is i can't say his name but i think this is such a badass looking hero i i love the artwork on this this is one of my favorite looking characters in the game uh i think it's Ka kaleza kalaza however you say this guy's name he is a doppelganger uh, but he is a hunter class ranged hunter class but his ultimate ability goes ahead and replicates duplicates of himself and uh i mean if you can just have him stay in the back line and just keep doing duplicates i mean potentially you'll have a bunch of him just in the back line just doing automatic damage it's so so good i wouldn't say he's the best i wouldn't put him in the s uh, well, I will put him in the A because I definitely think he's above average. Next up, we got a tank. Finally, we got a tank, right? We, we were doing a lot of energies and hunters. Finally, a tank hero. Here we go. Hercules, this dude, he's so cool looking too. I mean, a lot of these heroes, they, they did a really good job. I mean, they just look good. This guy right here, one of the best tanks, I'm going to say, in the game currently. Uh, you don't like him, that's fine. He does some amazing things. His ultimate ability, look at this. He links up with an ally, preventing them from receiving any debuffs when the link exists and 70% of the damage they receive is transferred to him over six seconds. I, I can't. It's a very, very strong ultimate ability. He also has other things like uh, provides a shield equal to a percentage of his HP to allies for 12 seconds. Uh, his passive ability, when the shield of the energy core and barrier disappears, he gains more defense. Uh, he's just really, really tanky, but he also brings uh, synergy to help your teammates out as well. He's not just like a big tank who just brings nothing to the table you know what i mean he not only tanks but he also supports your team as well i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna put him in the s i think he's definitely well well above average one of the better heroes in this game next up we have another hero that i cannot pronounce his name falvea falvea uh, this girl she is really really strong don't sleep on her either uh, amazing amazing damage dealer five beams at random enemies in a target area deals a bunch of damage prioritizes attacking different enemies uh, she just puts out a lot of really good aoe damage passive ability basic attacks increase the damage of all of her skills by two percent up to 30 uh, you know see she just puts out an insane amount of aoe damage this is another one that I think is, uh, you know, one of the strongest energy damage dealers in this game. Uh, you could put her in the A or the S. I'm putting her in the S. I think this is a hero that you should build out. Like uh, Next up, we got another tank. Another name I don't know how to say. Osa, U, 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 Usa, Osa, Asa. This is the very first tank that you start off with. Her ultimate ability is amazing. Does a percentage of her defense as damage, but more importantly, what we love about this is the fact that there's a 70% chance to stun the enemies within the specific range for one second chance is based on accuracy uh, however as you go ahead and you level up like her exclusive and stuff you'll notice that the stun duration can increase to three seconds so she's got some amazing CC effects uh, you'll see lifts the shield for increased defense and immunity to control effects. So she, she kind of just stands there, puts her shield up, and she just starts taking hits. 
uh, one of the better tanks, but however, I will say not the best tank. She's definitely not as good as Hercules, uh, definitely not as good as some of the other ones we're going to mention, but I will say she's well above average. We're going to put her in the A area. That was it for all of the Terran faction. Now we are moving on to the Atlas. First up, we got a tank, another tank. Uh, this guy uh, quit, cue it, k it, cue it, however you say this guy's name. Uh, this is the worst tank in the game. Hands down, the worst tank in the game. If you go over his abilities, it's all just like, oh, uh, he does a little bit of uh, defense as damage and that's it. He, he doesn't bring anything to the table. He doesn't have any CC effects. Uh, I'm putting him in the C. I think he is literally the worst tank in this game. Moving along, we have another hunter class. This is Xander. He's an okay damage dealer. His ultimate ability does a lot of damage though. 740% damage. Um, but other than that, he doesn't really bring anything to the table. Uh, just mostly kind of like increasing his uh, attack speed. That's what you kind of want to focus on. The potential is there though. Uh, don't get me wrong. I think the potential is definitely there, but I'm putting him in the B area. I think one of the weaker damage dealers, one of the weaker hunter classes in this game. Uh, but you know, try it out, try them out maybe experiment maybe you come up with a decent build uh, but right now i definitely think xander is a uh, below average and put him in, in the b area next up another energy damage dealer we have is poluno poluno i think that's how you say you say the name this is another one that has i think tremendous potential uh if built correctly uh, the crystals i think are very interesting you're summoning these crystals to the battlefield and they're doing damage to the opponents um, a, a lot of stuff like that it bounces off of the enemies so i think the potential is really there but i, I haven't experimented too much with this character so I, I can't say that they're above average maybe they are maybe you've had luck with this guy i'm putting them in the b for right now uh you know let me know if you think this is like an a uh, otherwise, I'm leaving them in the B. I think that's a good spot for right now. The, the tier lists can change over time, you know, don't forget about that. Moving along, we got everyone's favorite dragon, the star dragon, Sorietta. This is an amazing energy class damage dealer. Very good for one of the boss dungeons. Does a bunch of uh, single target heavy damage. I love the little explosions that the spheres do. Goes ahead, throws the spears all over the battlefield. The enemy takes passive damage over time. So a really amazing hero. Also very easy to build as well. You can go ahead and get a bunch of copies of her from the uh, battle pass, the wasteland one, I think it is. I think this is definitely one of the better heroes in this game. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put Sorietta in the S area. Next up, we got another energy class damage dealer. His ultimate ability uh, hits an enemy with ice two times. The chain jumps up to three times. So this makes him really good for the other boss dungeons as well because you have that, that chain lightning kind of effect, but this is called ice chaining, where it's bouncing from enemy to enemy to deal damage, which is pretty cool. Uh, but overall, uh, not one of the better damage dealers. I would definitely say definitely a below average. Uh, moving along, our next character we have is a tank. Oh, what a surprise. We finally got another tank. This is Oak. Uh, amazing tank. This is, I would say, I would say this is the best tank. I'm going to say Oak is better than Hercules. Uh, you know, I just 100%. The abilities on this character are, are absolutely ridiculous. The ultimate ability increases damage reduction by a percentage, may only attack enemies with thump while earth power is active, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, we understand that. That's fine. But damage reduction is so huge. Uh, just, just a quick little tip. Damage reduction is better than defense. Uh, so whenever you're looking at your stats, uh, defense is good, right? But damage reduction is better. It actually reduces all of the damage that you take. Uh, so damage reduction is 100% better than defense. Uh, a lot of the tanks have stuff that like buff their defense, but I think right now, Oak is the only one that has damage reduction built into him. 
Take a look at some of his other skills, increases his max HP by a percentage. When he's attacked, the attacker has a 40% chance of being stunned. I mean, this is sick. So he doesn't even like, he's literally just sitting there and bam, if he gets hit, hey, you could go ahead and get stunned. You could get stunned. You just start stunning people randomly if they hit him. I mean, it's such a good skill. His other one goes ahead, does some damage to enemies in his way with a 30% chance of inflicting knockback. Another thing that I also want to mention in this game is uh, hero manipulation on the, on the battlefield is so important and it's overlooked. Uh, anytime you have a hero that can displace another enemy hero and, and put them somewhere, which uh, we're gonna go over another tank, Boar has something like that where he can flip or toss enemies uh, to different locations. Anytime you see a skill like that, it is so valuable. It's so, so strong. His passive ability gained, permanently gained 1% max HP. Uh, this effect may stack up to four times for a maximum of 4% max HP. When he receives lethal damage, he shall not die. Instead, becomes immune to all damage for two seconds. I, uh, you know, 100%. That's such a good ability. Uh, we're going to put him in the S. I literally think this is the best tank currently in the game. Has some insane skills. Our next hero we have is a very rare support. However, this support isn't one that actually kind of consistently heals. Uh, this is a uh, hip hypnos. I think it's hip hip up nose, hypnos. However, you say this creature's name. This is a uh, not a uh, healer like Serena or the the panda looking character. This is actually someone who's very good for stopping assassins. So if you have anyone who's like putting a lot of back row hate on your team and like diving on your energy damage dealers or your hunters in the back line. This character right here, very good for stuff like PVP when someone runs an assassin class and they dive your back line. This guy goes ahead and he stops them completely. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put him in the A area, definitely well, well above average. Very strong unit in this game. I just, it just doesn't really do damage or doesn't do healing, but supports in a different way. Next up, we got everyone's favorite pre-registration character, Artist. This is our very rare Vanguard class hero. Uh, this guy, he's easy to build out because the game throws like uh, 500 million copies of him at you. You can get him in 20 different shops in the game with your different currencies. Uh, everyone got him for free for pre-registering. There's just he's literally the easiest character for a free to play to build out. Uh, he's all about using his defense as damage. He also has the ability to uh, reduce the enemy's defense, which can be very helpful for things like uh, certain boss battles and stuff like that. But he's not, the, the artist is not, I would say, above average. That's the only thing. I he just, he's just weak. I will put him in the B area. I've, I've used him a lot. I still use him. I don't think he's like horrible. Uh, I think he's necessary because he's literally one of the very only Vanguard class heroes we have, you know, so he brings that to the table. But I definitely think like once we get some more Vanguard heroes, he's not going to be anything like he's going to be completely trash. I'm trust, trust me. He's good now because he's like one of the only vanguards. But once we get more, he's quickly going to fall off. I'm putting him in the B. I don't think he's that good. All right. That is wrapping up the Atlas heroes. We are then going to the Wind Fire. So I hope you're still with me. Stay with me. I know it's a long video. We got a lot of heroes to go through. I appreciate you staying by. Comment down below if you're still with me. All right. Next hero we got is another rare tank. We got Lang Langi Langle. This is the mammoth, saber tooth tiger looking mammoth guy. A uh, pretty cool looking character. However, he's definitely not one of the better tanks if we compare him to stuff like uh, Hercules and you know, just some of the other better ones that we had. Oak, unfortunately, really falls off. Early game, if you don't have any of the better tanks mentioned, uh, you can get away with using this character early game as a tank. Um, he, he's tankable, like, you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, but it's just really, really bad. I'm putting him in the C. I think, like I said, he's he's literally the worst tank. 
uh, right next to that other guy who's a really, really bad tank. These two together, they're really, really bad. Next up, we have our only other healer, another support class, but literally this is a true healer like Serena. This is a uh, Lyrin, Lyrin, however you say this, this panda looking, looks like Kung Fu Panda's old uh, grandparent right here. Uh, a very good healer, you know, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't have Serena, I would use the Panda, uh, you know what I mean? In fact, when I was playing the beta on my Europe server, this is the character I was using as my healer. I didn't have Serena, so I, I mean, it's not a bad hero. If you go ahead and put, like, the HP gear set on them, uh, they're absolutely amazing because all of their healing has to do like based on their max HP. One of the, the better heroes. I'm putting them in the B. Uh, unfortunately, this is only like the two healers we have is this one and Serena. So like you could put them in the A. I wouldn't argue with that. Uh, but once we do get more healers, which uh, God forbid, I hope we do eventually... <laughs> Uh, this this character right here is gonna fall off. So right now they're they're gonna end up being a B once we get a new support hero that's a true healer. Next up we got my favorite tank, uh, Boar. Now I don't think he's the best. In fact, we're not even gonna put him in the S uh, because I do think like Hercules and Oak is kind of better than him. Uh, you could argue and say he is in the S. Uh, his abilities are insane. He goes ahead, smashes the ground, does a bunch of damage. Uh, he gains a shield. Uh, when his HP ratio is above 50%, it increases his defense. But this right here, this is why I love him. He has this skill called throw. Goes ahead and he just flips the guy. I, I mean, you got to see it in action because it's so strong. I mean, honestly, you could put him in the S tier list just because of this skill. Because when he goes up against the tank, what happens is when this triggers, he's initially throwing the opponent's tank into their back line, which then goes ahead and pushes them back, which then makes it easier for stuff like your damage dealers in the back to put AOE out, like true AOE, and hit everyone. Uh, it kind of groups them up, it pushes the tank back, so that way you can kind of get more shots on some of their weaker players. So like that's that's such a good ability. I mean, anytime you have any displacement, 100%. Like it's so good in this game. Trust me, just just pay attention to the battles. That's what I always do. I, I have it on auto, but you gotta watch the battles and see what characters are doing. You could put them in the S. I'm gonna put them in the A for right now. Uh, again, he's one of my favorites though. I, I like I love him. I think this guy is amazing. Moving along, we then have. Uh, I guess this would be the true Kung Fu Panda. We have Senwei. This is one of our summoning classes. Very rare. We don't really have a lot of summoners either in this game. Uh, goes ahead and does a shadow at the target location. Does a bunch of damage. Has some cool effects. Casts chase life on all enemies in an area. Every time they lose 3% of their max HP, they receive damage equal to 95% of his attack. Uh, so so good fireball that explodes on the enemy deals a bunch of damage to the target and all enemies within two meters so you're getting some aoe damage uh gains 350 energy right when the battle starts that's the passive ability <laughs> i mean permanently gain four percent skill damage when while the shadow gains three percent a really annoying hero that uh if you don't deal with them can really really cause a lot of havoc out on the battlefield one of the better heroes uh summoners in this game are really strong uh unfortunately we just we don't have a lot of them so you know a lot of people don't really uh, experiment with them either uh, but definitely i would say try uh, to look out for like the summoner builds uh, because they could be meta one day in fact i don't think they they can be i think one day, the, the summoners will be meta, 100%. You'll see summoner builds all over the place. Uh, next hero we have is an energy damage dealer. We got Kar Karma. This is one of the characters you get pretty much right off the bat. Everyone does the fire dragon. Uh, he's okay, not bad. Uh, the thing that I like is I think it's uh, his ultimate ability where he goes ahead and he spits the fireball and it bounces between the enemies like a damn pinball machine. Uh, I, I love that ability. I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, unfortunately, he just he falls off really bad. Uh, I'm putting him in the C. You could put him in the B. 
Uh, you know, I, I might put him in the B because I really like this character, but you could also put him in the C. Uh, we'll, we'll leave him in the C for right now. Uh, just because there's way, way better energy damage dealers than him. Uh, the fireball, like I said, is a very unique effect. Early game, he's good. Uh, and you also get a lot of copies of him. He's another hero who's very easy to build out like artists. However, he just he just doesn't bring uh, what the other characters bring to the table. You know? Next hero we got is Muka, Maka, Muka, however you say this uh, werewolf uh, looking character right here, werewolf warrior. Another rare one. This is a summoner, another summoner class. This guy, I mean, this one is so annoying. Summons a feral wolf that, with a bunch of their stats, uh, will always attack the same target. There can be up to two on the battlefield. These basically become human tank shields. If you do not take care of these, you're gonna get overrun with these werewolves. I mean, they're gonna be just all over the place and I mean, you're gonna get absolutely demolished. Another hero that if built correctly, especially uh, if you build a team around someone like this, uh, it's so devastating, a very, very annoying character. You you have to get rid of them. If you don't get rid of them, they're just gonna keep summoning. They're just gonna keep summoning. Put them in, putting them in the A area. Uh, next up, we are almost done. We got Taylor the Tiger. I don't even need to say much about this guy. We're putting him in the S. If you don't know why we're putting Taylor in the S, then uh, you must not play this game. <laughs> uh, everybody knows about Taylor the Tiger, Tony the Tiger, this guy right here, absolutely amazing. Uh, everyone should build him, pretty much can use him for all content. The best hunter in this game by far, best elite hunter. Uh, at currently, I would say, in this game. Uh, wrapping it up, our final one is the Apex Predator, Rakana, Rakana. This is another rare assassin character. I actually love this one because this one dives the back line uh, a lot more than uh, Randall. Randall doesn't necessarily dive the back line where uh, this one right here, the Apex Predator, actually prioritizes attacking enemies who have the lowest defense. So when the battle starts, jumps immediately to the enemy with the lowest defense. If you got a healer in the back, you got some energy damage dealers in the back, whatever, they got low defense, they're they're gonna get smashed by, uh, by the Apex Predator, which is really good for PvP battles. Uh, in fact, this is one of the characters that I recommend you try for PvP because a lot of people aren't using um uh what's the 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 hypno sky to protect their back line right like this is a hundred percent your counter to assassins attacking your back line but the problem is people don't run him people don't run him because you know they don't need to uh but if you go ahead and i'm telling you if you use this guy you gotta you gotta power him up he's gonna he's gonna play like crap if you don't power him. you gotta invest in him you gotta power him up you will melt the enemy's backline in PvP. I'm telling you, you'll be so amazed. Don't sleep on this character right here. We are putting him in the A area. That is it. I hope you guys are still with me. This was a very, very long video. I appreciate it if you watched the entire video. Uh, let me make this a little bit bigger so we can just get a huge, huge overview. There is the tier list. Uh, let me bump this up right here so we can make it even bigger. I'll go like this. There we go. That is it. That is the tier list, guys. Looking up. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. Stay happy. Stay safe, my friends. And I will see you later with some more videos. Peace.